President Obama says he's going to talk to us on Tuesday about Syria. Again, it's nice of him to give us this heads up. He truly has mastered the element of non-surprise, which may be why Assad is at a Cancun Friday sipping a coconut colada. But thankfully today, the president told the world that he was elected to end wars, not start them. I was elected to end wars, not start them. Told ya. Note the verb end. I would have preferred win, but winning is bad because someone loses, which is why the liberation of Iraq, a win in our column, is unjustly maligned by the elitist defeatists. You want to talk about real punishment for using poison gas? Saddam and Chemical Ali hanged like dolls in the wind for that. Say what you will, but that's a hell of a message. What's our message today? Where's that big stick Joe Biden was boasting about? So far, the only stiff piece of lumber we've seen is John Kerry's head. The best argument for hitting Syria, that they launched the chemical attack. Obama says we must act on this assault on human dignity. But imagine how busy we'd be if we went after every one of those. We'd have to bomb the MTV Music Awards every year. The second best argument, what I call the reverse domino theory. If we don't hit Syria, we egg on Iran, which then eggs on North Korea and inevitably Vermont. But if that's true, why not cut to the chase? Hit the nuke sites in Iran now, and checkers, that's a double jump. It leapfrogs the Syria mess, nails the nexus of our animus, and sends Putin fleeing back to his dacha. <laughs> After all, a half measure is really no measure at all. You can't ride half a bike, because then it would be a unicycle. And only the French really do that. <laughs>